Now that I've got all the parts together to, to create a first lead section of the tune, I'm going to try and create an alternate section. Um, and I want this to be quite a contrast. So whereas the, the existing section is quite um, relaxed, long notes, filling everything out, this one I'm going to try and go for a stuttery, rhythmic type of um, effect. What I'm going to do first is I'm actually just going to program in the rhythm and then start creating the sound to go with that rhythm over the, the drum beat as well. So I'm just going to pick a pitch. It can be pretty much any pitch at this stage because I'll have to correct this as, as I shape the sound. So I'm just going to experiment with where the position is best for this first note and then add one at a time until I find something that seems to work. Okay, yeah, I'm just going to keep that repeated. Okay. Obviously it sounds like a Morse code right now, but let's get into some pitch change for a rave-like stab using the LFO. Out there sounds good. Okay, let's just try and get a bit more grit in there. Let's try a different waveform. Okay, that's cool. It's got quite a lot of um, edge to the mid range. I'll just try it in a higher octave. In sound, add some more higher harmonics. Right, let's just see if we can get that even more kind of edgy sounding. Get some distortion on there. I'll just try either side of the range here on each control and see which which position seems best. Linear is a good one if you want to kind of flatten out the dynamics of the sound. Okay, that's too washed out, so let's pull back a bit from there. Okay, just try with and without DC to see which sounds better. And I'm going to try the colour control by setting the bass and the depth in opposite directions. I can use the frequency to tune what frequencies are most present. And then I'll just try the dry wet and run that in parallel. Get some harsher harmonics. That's a bit too much. Okay, that's good. That's, that's very piercing, but not too piercing in its grating. And just get some more gain. Um, so let's just do the usual layering technique to get some stereo width to the sound. And here's one I prepared earlier where I just spent a bit of time doing different layers at different panning positions. So you can hear it's a lot denser sounding now. It's mono compatible. I've added a bit more variation to the pitch, so there's a bit more of a melody line as well. Just on the output, I've added an overdrive, and rather than being just a distortion unit, I've actually created a, a filter type of behavior from it. So with the drive and the tone cranked really high, I can assign the frequency control here to a macro. And then you'll hear as I sweep that up and down, it creates a filter movement, but it doesn't lose its power at the same time, because it's running in parallel because of the dry wet control settings. So that alongside the LFO rate, and oscillate a B level as well, giving me three different ways I can modify this, the sound over time, which can be quite handy when you're trying to create variation later on. So next I need to back that up with a sub like I did with the original lead line. I think I'm going to go for two bars of, of a long bass note, which I'm probably going to do as a pitch descent as well. And then the second two bars will be unified in rhythm with the, the original rave riff. So just tidy this up a little bit. And then I need to find the right pitch. Yeah, that sounds like it's in the right pitch now. Just add an extra note just to go with the fill at the end of the repeat. So pitch bend, similar process as before. Because I, I want to give the impression that basically 
the opening two bars of the riff are quite they're kind of building to something because they're not unified so i'm going to create a bass dive so it detaches itself from being unified with the first part of the riff okay cool that sounds nice just to flip back to the original lead line for a second, I've been noticing on playback that the attack stage doesn't keep up with the, the quicker notes. So I'm just gonna do a quick bit of automation work to sort this out. I just need to take a note of, of which settings will work best for, for two parts of this. 76-ish for the fast notes, and then about 520 for the longer notes. So I'm just gonna go in change it for the faster notes here looking at the dial at the bottom just to make sure it's in the right area and then i'll just copy that across to the other sections as well and just tightens things up a little bit So now that I've got two main sections that can be switched between, I've got the bases of a tune. Um, that's obviously not the only sounds that will be involved in the tune, but it's the, the core elements are there. So now I need to think about the other melodic parts that I'm going to use, which will be decorative or be used for intros, middle sections and outros as well. So that's what we'll do next. We'll have a look at the other melodic parts. <laughs> 